In today's video, I would like to show you something that you have might not tried before, which is searching for files, documents, or data that are hosted publicly on Google Drive and Amazon servers. So if you are searching for a person, what you can do is use a certain Google operator that will allow you to search for files that are not intended to be online. Now, please keep in mind that all what we are doing is OSINT. We are doing open source intelligence. So we are gathering publicly available information and we are not accessing anything private. So there are two ways to find these data or documents or files. The first method is by using a specific or a custom search operator that will allow you to do this. The second method, which is the one that I would like to show it to you today, is by using a website that will do this for you. Now, without being said, let's get started. Now, to do this, we are going to go to a website called ddigger.com. And if you have visited this website, you will see that they have another website that will allow you to search on Amazon, S3 or Disk Yandex or any shortening services or any files on sharing services. So to give you an example on how we can use this and search for someone's information what we can do is search for a person now since we have already searched for marcel in the previous video what i'm going to do is search for the person again so i'm going to say marcel and then their last name like this and then hit enter and we can see that we did not find anything now if we have visited this page which is this one we can search for the person again. So I'm gonna say Marcel like this and then Muniz and then hit enter and we can see that we have some information. So I can click on metadata to see the metadata of this file when it has been created or modified. I can close it and open this document and search for this name. So you wanna keep in mind that when you are searching for this name, you are not going to get the exact same string or text that you have searched for since we have searched for marcel monies we're not going to get marcel and monies written together they might be separated in this document so we can see the name marcel gomez monies machado i believe so we can see that we are searching for multiple words in a specific document and we were not able to find the full name written together so you want to keep this in mind if you are using the custom search operator that I would like to show you at the end of this video, you will be able to bypass this problem. So let me come back. What we can also do using this website is that we can search for resumes. For example, let's say that I'm going to search for resume and then I'm going to say OSCP, which is the certification by offensive security. And then I'm going to hit enter. We did not get anything so let me copy this again and go to the other website and hit enter and we might get something so we can see that there are multiple documents and let me open anyone let's say this one for example i can search for the word oscp and we can see that the word has been mentioned right here or i can search for the word resume and we can see that the resume has been also mentioned right here now let me come back and search for a real resume and please keep in mind that these are all available information so we're not doing anything illegal i'm going to search only for the word resume and i believe that i'm going to get some information so let me scroll down and this seems to be a real resume and we can see the full name of this person we can click on open and see their full information Again, this is only publicly available information and the person is already aware that they have their CV publicly available. Now, if you would like to use the manual method, which is using Google search engine, what you can do is use a search operator called site to search in Google Drive. So I'm going to add the full URL of Google Drive like this. And then I can add the full string that I would like to search for. So let's say that I'm going to search for the word Saraj and the word resume like this and hit enter and we did not get anything now let me search for the word Saraj and we have only got one file and we can see that the name Al Saraj has been mentioned and we can open this file and see what's its content now let me search for Marcel again 
like this and see whether we will get anything we can hit enter and we can see that we did not get any information now obviously we can also search on amazon or aws all we need is the full url so let me see the full url that you're using they're using this url i'm going to copy it and then replace it right here and remove the https like this and see what kind of information i'm going to get and we can see that we didn't get the full name but we have got the name marcel in one of these documents so this is how you can search for information on services like google drive and amazon you can also do this with any other hosting service that allows users to post content to the public you just need the full url and the name that you want to search for it and you will be able to find this you will be surprised of the information that you might be able to find I don't want to add anything sensitive in here and that's why I didn't cover anything that violates Google policies so you can search for whatever you want you can search for the word OSINT and see documents about OSINT or cybersecurity etc now if you like this video and would like to support me and support this channel please leave a comment like and subscribe to the channel and if you would like to see a certain type of videos on the channel please let me know in the comment section I'll be more than happy to create a video about this topic. With all being said, thank you so much for watching if you are still watching until now and I'll see you soon.